well, a great result for Gloucester, but also uh, a great game for Euro. Uh, yeah, I mean, take the result first. Uh, that, was, that was just massive. Uh, it's, I'd probably say it's made a pointer, really. But uh, no, we're, uh, we're very happy at the moment, but now it's hopefully a kickstart the rest of the season. Kicks on, good, good prompt for a question because uh, the Gloucester crowd pre season were quite uh, in anticipation of seeing your kicking style, which came into the game today. And let's say you got a little bit of banter from the crowd, but you soon shut them up. Yeah, it's, I mean, over the years it's got steadily worse. I think it's just getting a bit lower with age. But uh, no, it's, I'm just I'm just more happy just to be kicking and stuff. I mean, Freddie and Billy have been kicking really well all year, so I just wait, kind of wait for the opportunity. And it came, came today, and luckily we went through the middle. <laughs> I mean, you ask a few of the boys in training, they, they didn't. I don't think they had much confidence in me because I don't get that many. But uh, no, it's, it's it's nice, a nice place to put my kick, and uh, no, I'm happy. Nice place to come for a victory because Gloucester have had struggled here before. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we we've had a massive. We obviously very disappointed after last week's result, and we've worked hard on our discipline and the set piece, and it's uh, it's gone really well. So uh, it, well, it went really well today. So uh, and our defence was awesome. Like just I, I can see from behind some of the tackles the boys made, and uh, our, our focus was just really good today. And quick quick thinking because some of the tackles created turnover and, and gaps. Yeah. And and people were up and, and running into gaps to create problems. Straight away. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, some some of the hits were, were brilliant. I mean, it's all about like kind of that second running, to be able to get get on the ball. And yeah, and, I mean, we scored a try from our defence, so uh, it always helps. This game was one of the targeted games of the next, the series of four, if you like. Following on with after a bit of a break is is wasps. That's not going to oh, be any easier. No, it's it's going to be exactly the same. You know, he's before today, like who's four, four, fifth and sixth all playing each other. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's next week's going to be even bigger. They've got a big game tonight, you know, so, uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. They sneaked in a bit under the radar, wasn't Yeah, they have, they have. They're playing some really good rugby and we've got a fortress at home, you know. I mean, it's a bit, a bit like this place uh, where we've, we've shown today that they're not all that fortresses. It's all, it's all about mental toughness, is it? Because we've heard in the week the build-up. Um, because some of the games in the last few weeks have uh, just put that little bit of edge of doubt, maybe, into some of the supporters' minds. But the message from Gloucester this week is going to be, we're prepared, we're strong, we've got things that we haven't shown players, and we're going to come and, and, and we're going to take this game. This is exactly what happened. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we executed our game plan probably perfectly today. Um, and, and things just went from there. Obviously, kind of the bounce of the ball went well, as in like probably for Johnny's try. But then things happen in games, and the turning turning point. So I think we took our chances well today. We probably could have a bit unlucky just before half time not to go in with a bit 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 bigger lead. But that's just the way it goes. And uh, yeah, we're, I mean, we're delighted with today. It's just been fantastic.